What's up my friends, in today's video I'm gonna show you how to build this awesome light reflector for under $5. As you can see how bright it is. So let's check it out. Light reflector can improve the quality of pictures in low light situation. Let's take a look at the footage I shot. You can clearly see the difference between the footage with and without the light reflector. Knowing that light reflector can be expensive, I will show you how to build your own with household items for just under $5. Besides the cardboard, packaging tape, and black spray paint, you do need some kind of reflective material. In my case, I used emergency blanket I purchased on Amazon. They're dirt cheap and I will leave the link down in the description below. Of course, you can use aluminum foil instead, but I found it to be very hard to work with. First of all, I painted the cardboard black with spray paint for better light absorption. Then, I crumpled up the emergency blanket so that the light it reflects is soft and even. You don't have to do the next step, but I thought it's just nice to tape down the edges of the cardboard to increase the durability of the light reflector. After taping down the edges, I laid down the cardboard on top of the emergency blanket. I then centered the cardboard. If you are working in a windy environment like I am, taping down the emergency blankets first is a good idea. As I mentioned before, aluminum foil is not an ideal material because for one, it can easily be torn, for two, household aluminum foil is too small to work with. There isn't any tricky step to do this project besides trying to fight against the wind if you're outside. I did the same to the emergency blankets by taping its edges to prevent it from light damage. In conclusion, this is an extremely useful light reflector you can make on your own for under $5. Not only it is an effective solution to low light photo shooting, it is also very portable that you can carry it to anywhere. Also, with the three foldable panels, the light reflector can stand on its own without tripod. I hope you guys enjoyed this build. If you support what I do on this channel, make sure to subscribe. And also, a like is always appreciated. I will see you in the next episode. Have a nice day.